Hey guys, it's Sam. Uh, happy Monday. It's Monday, May 24th, 2010. Um, I made a video for this last night, but um, I currently, or I at the time, had eight people in my house, including myself, and everyone was sleeping. So I made a video talking like this. And I was like, maybe if people turn the volume up. Ow, my cell phone. Hold on. Maybe if people turn the volume up, they'll be able to hear me. But no, I watched it this morning. I can't even hear it myself, and I don't even know what I'm saying. Bummer. Okay. Well, this week, the topic is, what were you like in high school? Are you in touch with people? And do they know about your genderqueer stuff? I forget the end of the question, so um, that'll do. Uh, basically, that's, that's what it is. Do they know about your gender stuff? So, um, I was very different than I am now in many ways, and also quite similar, but different. Um... In high school, um, I was straight. I didn't know anything about queerness. I um, didn't know anything about gender nonconformity, um, anything other than the binary. I um, I knew of gay people a little, like I knew they existed. I knew it was something. I didn't think anything bad about them. I just I didn't know anything. Um, and I, um, like my down, the downstairs neighbors from my best friend was a gay couple. And, um, these two girls, senior year of high school, were totally dating each other. Oh no, is it raining? Shoot. Does it feel like it's raining? Maybe I'm spitting. Ew. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Oh, it's totally raining. Shit. Okay. This video just doesn't want to be made. All right. So these two girls were totally dating in high school, and I knew it, but I didn't, I didn't think anything of it. I was just like, huh, okay, you know, um, didn't analyze it, didn't think about it, whatever. So um, didn't in any way think that it had anything to do with me. So yeah, I was straight. I had um, crushes on a lot. No, not a lot. What a reasonable number of boys, like three, probably. Um, and I never went on dates. I, it didn't even really occur to me that anyone would ever even ask me on a date. Like, I was way too shy and not mature enough. And I, my way of expressing my sexuality was like longing um, and unrequited love and like diary entries and... All kinds of things like that. So, um, yeah, straight in high school. I used to wear little Gap t-shirts and flared jeans. And I had long hair for half of high school that I had up in a bun. Or more the kind where, like, you're making a ponytail and you pull it through once and you pull it through again. And then the last time you pull it through part of the way. That kind of thing. Oh, my God. Getting a little wet. Pretending that that's fine. Uh-oh. I just heard a door slam. My friend's supposed to pick me up. Okay, I'm going to keep talking. So, yeah, high school, that's what I was like. Um, and my friends and I, I had a really close-knit group of friends. There were four of us, and we used to um, make tea and bake cookies and have sleepovers and watch movies. And it was a really lovely, innocent, oh, my God, it's totally my friend. Well, hopefully I can finish. Um, a lovely, innocent time. And I wouldn't change it for the world. I, I had a very lovely, wholesome um, high school experience. And I do know that, you know, things were going on. I, I imagine things were going on that I wasn't aware of. Like, I never even heard the word dyke or fag or whatever, like, in a negative context that school ever. I didn't even know what the word dyke was. I remember one time I put on this hat that I got from my grandpa and it was a leather hat and my, I wore it, um, for my, I put it on and walked into the room where my mom and my best friend's mom were. And my best friend's mom has a South African accent and she said, it's a bit dykey. And I was just like, what's that? Um, uh oh, my friend's totally there. Can you wait for like five minutes? Okay, I'm sorry. Um, sorry. Okay. Uh, yeah, she was like, that's a bit dikey. And I was like, I 
don't know what that means. And she was just like, you don't know what that means? I was like, no. How am I supposed to know? And then the other time that I didn't know anything was my mom gave me a, oh, okay, I used to have buttons on my bag. Like, you know, buttons. There's another word for them, whatever. On my backpack, I thought that that was very necessary. I don't know, I'm sorry, you guys. I don't know why my nose is so itchy. Um, and one time my mom came home from work, um, freshman year of high school, and she was like, oh, I bought you a new button. And she gave it to me and it was a rainbow. And I was like, great, rainbows are cool. <laughs> like, whoo, no idea. I, how did she not know either? But anyway, so I put it on my bag and I like, walked around school. I thought it was great. And then I remember in history class, this girl came up to me and she was just like, um, so you and your friend, like, I, I don't really feel like saying her name on YouTube, but, uh, my best friend since forever. She was just like, so you and, and her, right? And I was like, what are you talking about? And she was like, you guys are, and I was just like, what? And then she was like, okay, the pin, pin, that's the other word, the pin on your bag, the pin. And I was like, what about the pin on my bag? And she was just like, oh my God. And like threw up her hands and like walked away. And I took the pin off my bag. So I was like, what the fuck? Only in retrospect, like when I got to college, did I realize what she was talking about and she thought that we were dating and I just I can't believe that I was so naive and so sheltered and like not in a bad way like I wasn't learning gays or bad I wasn't learning anything I was just like gay people exist okay cool but I nothing connected to me so anyway um I seem to have talked for a very long time as always um okay so the rest of the question is uh, are you in touch with people and do they know about it? So yes, I'm in touch with um, my really good best friends and um, they know about it and they call me Sam and they know I'm genderqueer and that's all great. And in terms of pronoun stuff, my friend out here knows, my other friend out here knows, and then the other friend I consider kind of like family. And I haven't talked to family about pronoun stuff yet. So I know that she knows. I don't know if we've ever had like... A discussion so yeah that I, I need to have that discussion with her um, even if I wait longer for family so um, also everyone else knows from high school in a certain way because of Facebook um, I mean I changed my name on Facebook to Sam a long time ago and um, they just I mean I have the what's it called ISO I don't even really know what that stands for, but the ISO box on my Facebook profile, and it says genderqueer, pronouns, he, his, him, queer, I don't know, all that stuff. So I feel like if people really cared enough to know, they could look and find out and know, and that would be fine. Um, but I'm really only in touch with those guys um, from high school, and they know mostly. Okay, uh, I think that's all. Yes, so I'm going to go help my buddy move. Actually, one of my good friends from high school. Um, she's moving today. <sighs> I hope everyone is great. I'm really sorry to hear that Megan has decided to leave the channel. Um, we're going to miss having a different perspective, your perspective on the channel. I think each of us have something to offer, so you in no way should feel like um, you're not genderqueer enough. So, um, thank you for being on the channel. I think you predated me. So, way to stay on there for a long time. Good luck with all that you do. Um, and to everyone else out there, we're going to be assessing and figuring out what we should do. So, we might put up, like, a audition video. We might contact folks. I'm not sure. But um, be looking for a new Friday spot at some point soon. Okay. Hope everyone's doing great. I'll talk to you all later. 